This is awesome. Yeah. The whole setup. I don't know. It's just kind of like chasing the dream, and, and now I'm starting to see it fulfilled. Connecting the lines, baby. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> The first time I heard about want versus need was probably about five or six years ago. I think my blue belt or purple belt days, they had these big bold heat press VS patches on all the jujitsu studs. And back then it was only big name athletes signing, you know, big name brands. But then with want versus need, they were the first to really push and expose new raw talent in the lower belts. And they also had these sick underground invite only tournaments and it was awesome watching the things that they were doing to disrupt the industry. This guy though, he is just high level guys. I'm very, very happy to, to be champion today. And then, uh, you know, the great tournament that, uh, you know, put it together for the Popo and the Blue Belt, I think that uh, can be a great experience for them. You know, I wish I had this when I was Popo Belt. But now the sport is being grown a lot and then, uh, you know, like it's very important the sport that you guys give to the, those young guys. So fast forward to a few months ago when Al Lagura reached out to see if we wanted to do a fun collab project with him, we were beyond stoked. I mean, the first time I met Al was at the first Connecting the Lines tour in Hawaii. And we were super excited to work with him uh, for Part Deuce. His idea to integrate Hawaii-based artist Sarah Cottle and her paintings into the collab kit was a perfect idea. And it was great to bring together positive vibes from all these different groups for the event. One Do you see this? Yeah. Which one? Oh, I know. Oh, this is sick. I'm only. I still don't have belts. You just 50 50 everyone. Yeah, that's it. We got belts up so soon. Okay, so the number is zero, cuatro, zero, 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 four, zero, zero, two, two. Huh? I am the prize. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang. Donga, donga, donga. Um, I was actually doing design, so I was uh, the jewelry designer for a jewelry company, and then I was there for years, and I've been doing art my whole life, and, and I just, I couldn't do the 9 to 5 anymore, so I quit, and I've been painting full time. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. Your stuff is dope. <laughs> so Jeff came up with a great idea about maybe getting an old surfboard in the Nutella already? That was Al's idea. Al's Fine. idea. And you surfboard in your hands, and <laughs> sterilizing it, and then us putting it above our mat. Sterilizing it. <laughs> 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 you need to make a dance move. Sterilizing it. We'd be like,
like, that would be so cool. That would be so just keep fun. it right above the new disco area, like, unfortunately, yeah. like, on the show. Just for a beauty. Well, this is 